Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Luca. Today I'm filming quite a spontaneous video. I remembered I had been tagged by the lovely Melissa from Kiss and Makeup's beauty blog to do the um, holiday photo tag. To be honest, she had everyone, but I really wanted to do this tag because I am 33 weeks pregnant now. I love to travel, but I know that with two small children I won't be doing much traveling. And so I figured it would be a great opportunity to go through my travel pictures and the rules are um, you pick five pictures from travel that was very important to you, stood out to you, just five pictures you want to share. So please excuse the chip nail polish and the hair, as I said it was spontaneous but I did manage to put some makeup on. And I prepared myself by pouring um, a cocktail, non-alcoholic of course, sex on the beach to remind me of happier days and, well, the things I will not have in the upcoming year. So, cheers! And here are my five choices. I limited my picks to the time when A, I had my phone because I have more pictures to choose from from this time and be the time my, my present time. Some of you may know that um, I already had a divorce and after that divorce or throughout the process of that divorce I got my first iPhone which was completely unrelated but the first travel I want to share with you it was my uh, kind of my personal eat pray love. It was just after I had gotten a divorce and I was figuring out where I wanted to go with my life. And, well, <laughs> moving out after eight years of a relationship, um, being married, um, planning to have kids wasn't easy. So I grabbed the opportunity to travel with my parents and we went to Tibet. So the first picture here shows some Tibetan prayer flags. It really was a mind-blowing experience. I have never been there before. I love the mountains, I love hiking, and it was such a freeing experience. And from Tibet, this would be the next picture, we uh, continued our travel to Nepal. And that picture was taken in Kathmandu, uh, right before I went to uh, traditional evening with some friends I had met there. They invited me over for family dinner, which was kind of a big deal for me. It was delicious and I got to wear some traditional clothing. Fast forward a few trips. I recently after this trip I met my now husband and father to my children and he loves travel as much as I do. So we traveled quite a lot when it was just the two of us. We had many great travel experiences and we, we went to Chile, we went to Thailand scuba diving, but the one, the picture I picked is um, from our road trip to Australia. We went there, we went to the Capo Van, we spent three weeks there, three and a half, which was way too short and I'd love to go back someday, but it was a very memorable event for me because at this picture me wearing no makeup, completely frozen after a day spent surfing. He insisted we stay and watch the sunset and I had no idea why. Um, we have been dating for one and a half years at this point, um, maybe two. When the sun set there at um, Bonnie Beach in Australia, he proposed. And that was of course kind of a big deal and I said yes and there was no ring because he had planned it. it was just the perfect moment and um, that was the picture he took and I'm getting all teary eyed here because um, yeah it was a great moment and I'm very happy that I've met him. Pregnancy hormones, okay? Hold on, excuse. We continued our journey together and one thing we love to do is go to the mountains. Um, this is a picture of our summer vacation. You may not notice because there is quite a lot of snow. And it was a trip um, we had planned to do for quite a long time. We went um, ice climbing and did some high mountain training program. And the trip 
almost didn't happen because when the trip grew nearer, I felt horribly under the weather. I was tired, I was moody, and I had no idea what was going on until I found out just one week before we went to the high mountains to do ice climbing um, that I was uh, seven weeks pregnant. Now, of course, I know how you get pregnant, but I just hadn't assumed that uh, it would happen with it would happen right the first time we tried it. So we decided to go anyway after I got my okay from my uh, obstetrician, of course. And it was a great trip. We, we, we were either outside or I was asleep, but I'm very glad we did it. The last picture I want to show you is from our most recent big trip. When uh, our daughter was born, we decided to take the opportunity to go on a longer episode of travel and so we went to New Zealand and some days and spent some days in Singapore and we went there again with a camper van on a road trip with a one-year-old which were perfectly fine and of course there are many many great pictures but that one sums up um, my memories of the trip the most. It's one of the many beautiful beaches. It's my husband and my daughter, and she's walking up to the shore um, with her feet in the water, and it was just great. I hope you enjoyed me sharing those pictures. I will just sit here, go through a few more, and um, yeah, enjoy my cocktail. Cheers. If anyone wants to show their pictures, please feel free to do so. I would love to see them either in a blog post or as a video. And of course, I'll link Melissa and uh, her video in the description box so you can check her memories out. See ya, bye.